Offered jointly by The Field, Shooting Times, Shooting Gazette and Sporting Gun, the IPC Magazine Awards celebrate the best of the best in the shooting industry. This year, the winner of the Best Clay Shooting Ground went to the Oxford Gun Company. Owned by the Florent family, I asked David Florent why he reckons he won. We weren't really expecting it because there's a lot bigger shooting grounds out there than us or shooting schools out there. Um, and we won it really for introducing the most people into into the sport um, and bringing, bringing the sport together really. The award should be, uh, I think should be really, it's not a mount battle of um, how big the clay ground is, what it does within the industry, um, it's about getting new people into the sport, um, expanding the sport. What do you do to get new people into the sport? Um, lots of things. We do the. We started off doing the Have a Go days, um, which is now um, attracted 17,000 people to have a go at clay shooting. Uh, then we also did the day courses, which run on every Thursday, um, which have got another 4,800 people, which is a step up from the Have a Go, because the Have a Go is just purely Have a Go. It's the first Saturday of every month. Um, it's on a cheap price, which is you get 25 cartridges, 25 case, use of, use of a gun, half an hour of the instructor for £20. 20 um, quid? Yeah. For, for 25 cartridges? For 25 cartridges, just to basically get the interest. Um, and then you progress up to something like the day course, uh, which is there to teach people how to take it up, what to do, uh, what sort of targets, how, what sort of things you can do within the sport. Part of the prize went to you to the Oxford Gun Company for running the Schools Challenge? Yeah I think so, I mean the Schools Challenge, I started it, I came up with the idea six years ago, um, it only me was only meant to be one event a year, one small event a year for local people around Oxford um, to get party shooting, I know there's a lot of money up for grabs now but it's still the original idea of it is to get teenagers into the sport. Um, at a sensible rate. There's loads of sponsorship up for grabs, but the original idea of the Schools Challenge, which is why I think, I know this is IPC that gave us the award, but Archon made it the, the UK's biggest Young Shots organisation, um, which I think it is. It does all sorts of things. It does two, as you know, you've probably seen them all on Field Sports Channel. Um, it does the big competitions, uh, which is here and at Breeden School. Uh, it does the Novice Schools Challenge days in August which is there purely to get people into it, plus Browning have put the extra prize up um, for winning Browning goodies, and then it does the ultimate game day uh, experience. So, a school's challenge gives, if you're a teenager, it gives somebody the whole experience of shooting, of how to get into shooting, and they can even win a gun. The Oxford Gun Company has had a shop and clay ground on their site between Aylesbury and Oxford for years. David's dad, Doug, tells the story. How do you turn a farm into an award-winning clay ground? With great difficulty. Um, when we first came out here, they hadn't built the M40. But the uh, government guidelines in those days were, if you were going to open the shooting grounds, uh, you needed to open it next to a noise source and one of the examples they gave was a motorway so we bought Jericho Farm knowing that the M40 was going to go through so that we could build the shooting grounds next to a motorway unfortunately over the years the guidelines get forgotten, changed, twisted so um, after 22 years we still have one or two noise issues with uh, one particular local resident but that's not bad, you've managed to cut it down to just one. Well, yes. <laughs> so you are able to attract, as we were talking about with David, anything from the novice through to the expert? The general concept was that um, we would try and encourage shooting grounds to advertise in local papers to get people to come along and try clay shooting. That went round to every gun dealer in the country and as with their normal enthusiasm, two of us took it up, us and Clooney Clays in Scotland, and we've just continued on from there. Um, Browning used to pay for the advertising. A few years ago, they decided to stop doing it because we were actually the only ones left doing it. But we've continued to do it. So every, every month, religiously, for the last 20 odd years, we've advertised Come and try clay shooting on the first Saturday of the month. 
Um, we've now got through just over 19,000 people and it works. We are very, very busy on that day. For more about the Oxford Gun Company, which has 15 stands and more than 80 traps, visit www.oxfordguncompany.co.uk.